Hi guys, it is Dr. Cody Dukes and we are back again for yet another video. Now you already know what to do if you haven't done so already. Please go ahead and like this video and if you're not already, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Now today guys, I wanted to talk about a documentary of sorts that came out a long time ago, but it's a sports documentary and it's called Hoop Dreams. Now this movie Hoop Dreams followed these two uh, young black men who grew up in the inner city of Chicago, I believe it was, chasing out after their dream to eventually one day make it to the NBA. They were following in the footsteps of the NBA legend uh, Isaiah Thomas, uh, but in the same city that, you know, the GOAT played in, and that being Michael Jordan. Now, if you watch this movie, it's one of those movies that like kind of hurts to watch because you see these young black men who uh, come from homes that are struggling in poverty, uh, lack of male role models, so on and so forth, which ha call, you know have all these negative and detrimental effects. And then you even you know see both of these young men by the end of the movie, they eventually neither one of them get the outcome that they dreamed of which was to make it to the NBA even though at the end of the movie things did seem more hopeful um neither one of them quite reached their dream and you know the, the thing about something like making it to the NBA is that for a lot of people it is what we in the responsible adult community call a pipe dream <laughs> It's, it's a dream that doesn't have a lot of chance of panning out. And, and I'm not just saying that uh, from the standpoint of people aren't good enough. I mean, one, the amount of work that it takes into goes into being a professional athlete. Um, it's a lot. And following that 10,000 hour rule, a lot of people by a certain time in their life haven't put in those 10,000 hours especially not of deliberate practice maybe they put in 10,000 hours of just you know playing and having fun but when it in terms of putting in 10,000 hours to get better you know that's a different conversation and but not just that you know there are you know 400 and something odd jobs in the NBA and so just the numbers you know there are t probably tens of millions of kids who dream of playing in the NBA so just that alone, you know, four, 400 and something odd jobs for tens of millions of people. That means that the likelihood of that, you know, dream panning out is extremely low. And therefore, for a lot of people who don't, you know, have, you know, the physical attribute, they're not born <laughs> with the physical gifts. They're not tall. Um, they're not super athletic. Um, they don't have great hand, whatever it may be, hand hand eye coordination. You you really you know it's a stretch. Now, of course, it's still an obtainable goal, but the thing that you have to look at when you start talking about you know smart goals is that how realistic is it? What are the chances? that I can be not just one of the best 400 and some odd basketball players in the world, because that's not just what those jobs are. Can you be one of the best 400 and something odd players in the world, but also on the days that you get the opportunity, right? Because, you know, there, I mean, there's probably multiple guys who were more than good enough to play in the NBA who never got the chance to play in the NBA because the one time their opportunity came, they had an off, off day or they were being irresponsible and they missed the workout or they got injured. Like th there's so many people that that happened to. And so there's so many things that have to go right that sometimes you have to consider, is my goal realistic? It's attainable, sure, but is it really realistic? And if it's realistic, is it something that I can bank on? Is it something that I'm willing to bet my future on? This ten, these 10,000 hours that I'm working to put in, could I be putting them towards something else that's more 
likely to help me be successful and won't go to waste. Because how many guys miss the NBA boat and then they look up their 25, 26, 27 and they realize they don't have any other skills, especially not a high income skill. They don't have anything else, another plan. So sometimes you have to consider the dream that you have and what is the likelihood that it'll work out for you. And if not, what do you have lined up to make sure that if it doesn't work out, you're not just stuck in the middle of the ocean with no way back to shore because you went too far out and you don't have enough gas to get back. That's the video, guys. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and like this video. And if you're not already, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel. I'm uploading five videos a week. That's one every single weekday. I do inspirational and motivational content with a pop culture twist. I look at things like sports, movies, anime, superheroes, cartoons, game shows, you name it. I just try to find a motivational message that I can deliver to you in a way that's easy to understand so that you can take it and use it in your daily life to be the best version of yourself. And if that sounds like what you're trying to do, then you should definitely subscribe because this is the channel for you. Guys, how did I do? Let me know down in the comments. Give me tips and feedback on how I can get better. Give me suggestions on topics I should cover in the future. I do my best to go through every single comment and get back to every single one of you guys. Guys, I thank you for sticking around this long and I appreciate all of the support. And the only thing I ask is that you keep coming back because I'll keep coming back with more videos just like this one. And as I always say, guys, until next time, peace.